Hello heretics, I'm Brad. In this video I'm going to be going over what we currently know about Dawn of War 3, mostly focusing on what the gameplay changes are. The release date is set for the 28th of April, so less than two months from now. The game is going to feature both single player and multiplayer like its predecessors. Single player is one storyline where you play as a different faction each mission in a total of 17 missions. The launch factions are going to be Space Marines, Orcs and Eldar. There is no word on what the next faction being added to the game is going to be, but the game's lead developer has said that he would like to see all of the factions from the tabletop game added. Multiplayer is only going to have one game mode to begin, Power War. It has similar objectives to what you'd seen in MOBA. This mode has each player defending a power core while attacking the enemy's core, while also having two turrets just out from the power core and a bit further out again two shield generators. So one shield generator out from each turret that is. It will not be necessary to destroy anything else before destroying the enemy's power core, but destroying the side objectives will make it much easier to destroy the power core. It's been confirmed in another interview that Game size is going to be capped out at 3v3. I was hoping to see 4v4, but it's not too big of a loss. Um, also, we know that there will be 8 multiplayer maps on launch. The game's population cap has been taken up to a massive 250. With units having a similar population cost to the older games, this is a big increase in the number of units you can have out in the field. The old cover system has been completely removed. To fill the void, we now have bush mechanics similar to League of Legends, so when units are in the bush they can't be seen, only revealing themselves when they start shooting. We also have shield domes scattered on the map. Units can take the shield domes and be protected from ranged attacks, but if a melee unit comes in they will just pass through the shield and start beating on you. Retreating has been removed, which is interesting because it, was, it wasn't in Dawn of War 1 either, but it was in Dawn of War 2 and it was a huge part of the survival mechanics for units. But it is looking like Dawn of War 3 is going to be less about keeping your units alive. We now have elite units that use their own special currency to be called in, called elite points. You can gain elite points just naturally over time, or by holding set locations on the map that will help bring these points in faster. You have three elite units to call in throughout the match that can be called in in any order some do cost more than others. Before a match you do pick three elite units from your faction with some restrictions in place so you have to take one that's kind of a force commander level, one that's a bit more of a specialist in some area and then you get typically your big thing like your um, Wraith Knight. The last major change I want to mention is the game swapping out Relic's normal upkeep system that we've seen in both Dawn of War and Company of Heroes with escalation phases. In phase 1, you get a generous refund when units die, then after 10 minutes the game progresses to phase 2, where the refund starts to drop off quite severely, but you get bonus income, objectives and listening posts also get additional health, and then phases 3, 4 and onwards um, are pretty much more of the same, just more income and more health for your buildings. Overall, these changes show that Relic is not afraid to re-envision series, taking it in a new direction that's going to have us in the biggest battles we've seen to date. I'll chuck some links in the description below to videos of gameplay that have come out recently. Some of them are pretty good, so check them out. Um, that will give you a much better feel for what I've been talking about. And yeah, overall I'm quite optimistic for the game at the moment. Can't wait for open beta. How are you feeling about it? Anyway, that's all for now, Heretics. Catch you next time.